keeping up with the latest. Give us some idea of uh, just some recent events that have occurred that you've been really focused on and maybe some things that are down the pipe just a little bit that we can look forward to. And I'm talking about the rest of us out here who are really fascinated with astronomy and what's happening in our world. Um, what's on the horizon? What are we doing? You know, I, I think this is true. And I, I, I'm going to ask for an apology for repeating something, but, but I think this is just so important that it bears repeating, which is for the entire hi history of humanity, everything that we've ever known about our universe, all of that information has always come to us in the form of light. In fact, one of the things I teach on my first day of every astronomy class, every intro astronomy class that I teach is astronomy is prejudiced. Astronomy is prejudiced to things that glow in the dark, right? We, if, if something's not glowing in the dark or interacting with something else that's glowing in the dark or reflecting light from something else, we don't even know it's there because the only way information travels to us from objects in deep space is in the form of these things that we know of as electromagnetic waves, light, right? Various, various forms that we can see or can't see, but it's still all light. Radio waves, light, uh, radio, uh, microwaves are light. All the stuff is light, right? But we've just entered into a brand new era where we now have a brand new tool never possessed by humanity to be able to measure the universe where we don't, we can see right through things. And that is gravitational waves. So I know we touched on this earlier in the show, but it's important, I guess, to, it bears repeating to say, we don't know where that's gonna lead us. We can see into the heart of a galaxy through any manner of obscuring material because the information coming to us is not electromagnetic radiation. It's these ripples of the universe called gravitational waves that just penetrate right on through and now we can actually measure them, which is simply astounding, right? And so, so when you ask what's next, I think in the world of astronomy, we're gonna spend a lot more time measuring gravitational waves. And it's not that we'll give up our pursuit of ever better ways to measure electromagnetic radiation because you always wanna correlate those observations, right? You wanna yeah. say, well, we can see it in, in microwaves and we can see it in radio, but now we can also detect its gravitational wave signature I think that I think that before too long humanity will probably likely build a gravitational wave observatory in space that's not a new idea that idea has been around for decades but now it seems a lot more sexy because hey we figured out we can actually measure these things it's hard to it's hard to justify building building a gravitational wave observatory in space when the ones on the ground aren't measuring a darn thing right, <laughs> right. you've never measured it ever but now we have, we've entered into a whole new era where we have gravitational wave observations. So the impetus to build that next generation of detectors of gravity waves, gravitational waves, is now there. And so what will they reveal about the history of our cosmos or multiverses or the lack of multiverses or whatever? We don't know. We don't have the faintest idea. But that is certainly what I can see on, on the horizon in terms of we, we have just found, we are in the absolute infancy of a brand new technology that we can measure the universe in a way that we never even fathomed before. What, where will that lead us? I have no idea. That's but it's exciting, yeah. right? Super, super exciting. Yeah.